Senator Ted Cruz argued that immigration is a personal economic issue. I understand that when the mainstream media covers immigration, it doesn't often see it as an economic issue. But I can tell you for a million of, um, of Americans at home watching this, it is a very personal economic issue. And I will say the politics of it would be very, very different if a bunch of lawyers or bankers were crossing the Rio Grande. Or if a bunch of people with journalism degrees were coming over and driving down the wages in the press. See. Then we would see stories about the economic calamity that is befalling our nation. And I will say, for those of us who believe people ought to come to this country legally and we should enforce the law, we're tired of being told it's anti-immigrant. It's offensive. Fiery Ted Cruz there last night. With me now, the former House Majority Leader, Tom DeLay. Thank you, sir, for joining us. I have to ask you, first and foremost, what were you thinking when you heard Senator Cruz's comments? Well, I, I was I was cheering, I got to tell you, because he did such a great job in a very short period of time describing the problem of immigration. In fact, you should have asked your previous guest, Alan Simpson, who was the guy who wrote the Mazzoli Simpson bill in 1986. It, it was the disaster that we're having to deal with today. Uh, and they're trying to do it again. Open borders, um, uh, allowing illegals to come and illegals to stay. Uh, they gave amnesty to people, which is an incentive uh, for pe more people to come. Back then we gave amnesty, or I voted against it, but they gave amnesty for 3 million people. Now we're, we're dealing with 11 to 12 million uh, and trying to do the same thing. So uh, Cruz was dead on and, and put it so well. Um, I, w I was just cheering. I, he understands what's going on so, on our board. So, Congressman, I want to ask you from a political point of view. I mean, Senator Cruz warned that if Republicans join Democrats as the so-called party of amnesty, the Republicans will lose. Is that true? I, I'm t I totally agree with that. In fact, I don't think you're going to have an amnesty nominee. Um, I don't think the base of the Republican Party, and I'm talking about two-thirds of those that will vote in the Republican primaries, are going to support somebody that's going to give illegal uh, 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 aliens amnesty. Uh, I think he was, uh, somebody said, I don't know if Cruz said it, but uh, when, you, when you listen to Kasich, you, you think he was in a, uh, another debate. Somebody didn't tell him he was at the Republican debate. Uh, so, no, joining the Democrats on open borders and, and allowing illegal people to stay here is not a winning strategy right. in the general you election. You mentioned Congressman Kasich, and he essentially called Donald Trump's plan silly, or he implied that it was just silly and basically not an adult plan. Do you agree with the governor, or do you see more what Trump is trying to do? It's not silly to enforce the law. It's not silly to stand on the rule of law. It's not silly to go after people that are here illegally and deporting them. And, and this whole notion that we just can't pick up 11 million people in the next couple of months. No, you can't do it in a couple of months. But over time, enforcing the law, you can, you can uh, uh, come down on a lot of these illegals and, and deport them to their home countries. It can be done if you just stand on the rule of law. Congressman, so glad for your time. Thank you. Former My majority pleasure, leader, Thank you. Tom DeLay.